Good morning! Okay, so I am about to show you a whole month of our life where we decided to be vegans. We just relocated to Boston, as you know from previous videos, but we are doing this and I'm really excited about it. Daniel isn't really so much. This is kind of a big change for us. We've been trying over the years to reduce our meat intake, but I can't say that we've really been that successful, I don't feel. So we are committing to 30 days of eating a plant-based vegan diet. Um, and this is that journey, so come along. Day eight of our vegan journey. We went on an outing this morning that ended just about lunchtime. So we stopped on the way home and got this pizza. And it's just a veggie pizza with vegan cheese. And we're going to try it out. We really haven't been trying like meat, a lot of meat substitutes or cheeses or anything. Basically just trying to stick really to a plant-based diet. So uh, I hope it's good. <laughs> Have good reviews, this place. And we also got some samosas as well, because obviously. Okay, so it's like day 12 of our Veganuary journey, which it's almost weird, but that's fine. And our son wanted waffles, so I made these vegan waffles and we're trying them out and they have chocolate chips in them. And actually, I haven't tried them yet. It's pretty good. How was it? Did you use I'm, I'm not a waffle fan. No, I am. Oh. Um, <laughs> I do think they taste, you want more? Dude, those taste like waffles. Totally. Yeah. So we had some vegan recipes, probably about eight to 10 recipes, not a lot, considering we have about 600 recipes. It's a very, very, very tiny percentage. So I adapted as many vegetarian recipes as I could, but also I've just been looking up a ton of new recipes and we've had great success. I don't think we've had anything that's been bad yet. We did make a, um, a chickpea noodle soup and it wasn't the best. Um, it wasn't I bad, I just felt I like it had it no was flavor. That bad, but it, it was not the best. We also made some meatballs. They were like chickpea and Oh, I soup. liked those. Yeah, so like that's the thing. So like you liked those more than I did. I liked the soup more than you did, but none of these things were like, we've made recipes in the past that were so terrible, we just threw the whole thing out. There aren't nuts in that, are there? No. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I just like my mouth was feeling a little weird. Okay, sorry about that. After trying that waffle, I noticed that there was a little bit of, I don't know, a weird sensation in the back of my throat. So I was like, hmm, are there nuts in, in that waffle? The only new ingredient that we have is the vegan butter substitute. It does contain cashews. So, had to run off camera, pop a few Benadryl, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this goes. But 
In the meantime, I'm gonna continue making waffles and pretend like we're not gonna be going to the hospital in a few minutes. <laughs> That's the plan. I've been super careful. Obviously, I know that a lot of vegan substitutes are made with nuts. And I have to go through all these things and make sure they don't contain nuts. And I failed. So that's our update. Like I said, we're about a third of the way through and it's going well, except for this minor snafu. Anyways, we'll see you again later. Day 23 of our 30 days of being vegan or whatever it is that we're doing and it's still going really well we're having a lot of fun we have had a couple bad recipes cake. this week which was cake, cake, cake. you already have a cake you're eating a rice cake as we speak silly like I said things are still going really well um, the only thing that's really difficult is eating out like today we went to a museum this morning and then we had stuffing at lunch and i was like well we can pretty much eat at the same places that we've been eating and i really want to eat at that place or that place or that place but they don't have any vegan options so um i definitely think that we'll probably continue to eat mostly vegan at home after this but won't be exclusively vegan just due to a lot of the constraints that are put on it, especially, you know, with Daniel's nut allergy. And of course, we spend a lot of our time on the road and finding vegan options on the road is also difficult. So you haven't really heard an update from me. And I mean, honestly, I am in the same camp as you in saying that we have tried a bunch of new recipes that we will be able to continue using after this. But I would say also this Veganuary also taught me like, what things I miss. If you would have asked me before this what you would miss, I would have probably like, I would have given like a more normal answer. Like I'm going to miss eating meat. Honestly, meat isn't the thing that I miss. Sushi, which like sushi is not even something we eat on a regular basis. But as soon as we like switch to vegan, mama needs to get out of the chair. Okay, bye mama. But as soon as we switch to being vegan, all of a sudden like, I miss sushi, I wanted to eat sushi. I don't really miss meat that much, to be honest. So yeah, we have enough recipes that we'll probably be able to go vegan full-time at home, but vegan full-time, Trish is more positive than I am about it. I would say it's a definite no for me. But we only have one week left. And now I am being called to go jump on the bed, so I'm gonna go do that. One more week to go. <laughs> Can you say one more week? One week. War week. <laughs> Can you say yay? Yay! <laughs> All right, so that is it. We made it to the end of the January. We accomplished our objective, which was to switch to an entirely vegan diet for one month. There's a secondary goal in all this to see if it's even plausible for us to switch to vegan full time. So I think going forward, we're probably going to be vegan at home, but then like, you know, more lax on the rules when we're eating out. That will still allow us to, you know, reduce our meat intake, which is better for the environment. So yeah, this was us doing Veganuary. We went vegan for one whole month. So that's a video for the week. We'll see you in whatever video we make next week. Until then, bye.